Hi, how's it going? This is video number one. Um, I'm going to start off with keyword research and rank tracker. And then on the following videos, uh, Scrapebox, uh, Sanuk, XRummer, and then show you how to use them all together. So, let's start off with showing you the basics. I'm going to start a new project, put your donate domain in, press next. Now it's going to ask you what search engines that you want to check. You can change this later at any time. Default is Google, Bing, Yahoo. And it'll be the google.com USA. And same with the other ones. They're both they're USA, but you can change the country down here if you want to pick one locally. Right now I'm just going to leave it at the default. Pick a few words related to your website close as you can and we're gonna use the suggest feature which will pull in hundreds of more keywords and one thing I wanted to show you which I'm getting a lot of uh, people asking me about is how come it's not showing results why am I not seeing this it's not showing me any any ranks there well the reason for that is because you have to go to API here because you only get so many uh, queries every day and since you're on the server where there's other users there's gonna be a lot of them so you have to go up here and put your API keys in which isn't really hard to do I got my Yahoo boss key um, let's see where to go here you just type in Google Yahoo boss and then find the link it's the first one that pops up and then just start a new project, get your consumer key. And your consumer secret. And that's it. I'm not going to look for my Bing API key because I already have it. I got it for Scrapebox. It's in a notepad somewhere. But uh, just Google that too. Put Bing API key and it'll be the first one. Just grab it. It's easy to set up. Very easy. And that will eliminate you not ever seeing anything there if it doesn't say if it only says not in top hundred well it's not in the top hundred okay so now what we want to do is select all the keywords oh first I just wanted to show you something else Google account settings this is the second thing you need to do after the API you need to put your Google account settings in here so that it can check in Google uh, in your analytics account and your AdWords account if you use that to find keywords and right off the bat it's already showing me my analytics profile so I'm just gonna put finish and then use Google Analytics login information for your AdWords account say yes press OK now highlight all of your words and press press suggest I like using word tracker because it's quick but you can use any one of these here uh, and AdWords whatever but I find if I use Word Tracker it pops up real fast see and then I just select all of them press next it's gonna search for the ranks now the reason that you want your Google Analytics account information in there is because uh, you want to find out how many clicks you're getting for each one of those keywords and it'll show you like how many you're getting daily which is really awesome um, it's almost like a AdWords campaign it shows you all the information you need which is perfect because if you're doing not only SEO for yourself but if you're doing SEO for clients you can show them a, 
a report with exact information where all their traffic is coming from and which words they need to go for. Now it's just checking the number of searches for those words in AdWords. So I'm just going to pause it here for a sec. Okay, so it's done. Press finish. And some of your words that you found might have rank, might not. If it's a new site, probably not. You can go into keyword research view here. And that's when it will show you how many visits that you've gotten for those words. And you'll check that by going update visits and bounce rate bounce rates for all keywords. And it will go into your Google Analytics account and check. Uh, you won't have to do that for a few days, obviously, after after you got your site up. But if if your site's been around for a while, you I check it every day just to see. And okay, so usually this is a small list. So let's select all, and we want more. Let's get more words. Don't know if I said it yet, but Rank Tracker has an anti captcha key. It's a little bit more than decapture.com, but it's totally worth it if you don't want to sit there and type in all of those captcha entries. So just look up anti captcha in Google and you can find it. Sorry, no keywords. Well, that's kind of hard to believe. Let's try it again. I'm just going to pause it. Okay, so what I've done is did the suggest feature two or three times. And since it takes quite a while to search for it, I just paused it. Um, let's go into keyword research view as you can see here it shows you the number of searches for each of those keywords it tells you the expected visits and if you want to see what your actual visits are for each of those keywords to your website you just go up to here where it says visits and update visits and bounce rates for all keywords I'm not going to do it anymore for this video but if I was doing it for my site I would get up to 500 keywords just to start so then you would just run the suggest feature over and over again so what I like to do is after I've done all that and got about 500 keywords I'll click on the report button and it'll actually tell you the most efficient keywords Uh, let me see. And those are the ones that I'll put into Snook. Okay, let's go down here. The top 10 most efficient keywords. And once you run all your checks, your KEI check, which I didn't do. Um, it'll give you it'll give you an accurate report on which of the keywords are the best ones to go for. Now that top ten list, usually once I go for that, I'll start seeing some really good traffic after a couple of days. And every time that you check it, it'll tell you which ones have moved up and how many have moved down, which ones are in the top ten. Uh, which ones are number one position and it's pretty accurate so as of the information 
as of what information that Rank Tracker has right now, these are the top 10 most efficient keywords that it's going to tell me. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll make sure that I can, it's feasible, like it's actually good to go for. It's not outrageous, like I mean servers, uh, if you're going to start snooking that, it's going to probably take you about six or seven months to get on the first page maybe, and even that's not guaranteed because it's a very competitive word. Uh, there's millions of companies out there that are probably going for that. So I'm not going to go for servers. Uh, I'm already number one for Sanook, Scrapebox. So I'm not going to really go for those. But those would be something that I would put in if, if it was a new site for sure. Now if you already are number one for keywords, you got to remember also that the other rankings that are around you they're still building links and they want that number one spot so every now and then I'll still run campaigns on those ones that I'm number one for because they'll outrank you eventually and who knows it could be tomorrow so you just gotta keep an eye on it and sometimes manually I'll just go check uh, when I'm doing my keyword research or if I'm setting up student campaigns, I'll just go take a look and make sure. And you can use tools such as there's there's four tools part of this SEO suite that's included with Rank Tracker. You can use the uh, SEO Spyglass uh, link links assistant, and any of those tools will actually go and show you your competitors' ranks and see how far behind they are. And um, you'll get really good at at knowing what links actually rank you and what other links are going to overpower other links of yours if you want to get real technical um, you can get really advanced into that but for the most part I just use rank tracker and it's good enough for me because uh, I do so many so many campaigns I don't really have time to go and see and, and analyze all the competitors but a, a lot of people do and they like to do it so if you if you want take a look at the other tools that are part of the suite so for this video I'm gonna throw in I like cheap v VPS that's a really good word and I haven't really gone for it yet so let's get Sanook going up here now your campaign na names can never be the same for example if I call this campaign one my next campaign can't be called that it won't let you do it so what I like to do is just label so I'll do I'll do campaign one and then on the next one that I do a little box will form here and say do you want to make this a subcategory of your campaign one and then I'll say yes and then I'll just go one two three four five but everybody else has a different way of doing it so let's just carry on now let's take a look and see which other other ones are good here. And now that Sanook lets you put as many keywords in as you want, um, it's nice because you don't have to just put three in kinda lets you spread it out a little bit more and if you're like me and set up like 10 or 20 Sanook campaigns every single day um, before I had to kinda group it into like three campaigns for those three keywords or five campaigns for those three keywords sort of thing but now you can just put your whole list on for that site and then just make all 20 campaigns is what I do uh, dedicated hosting isn't really related so you just want to make sure they're related to your site I'm just gonna stick with these three for now I'm just kinda of showing you the basics here on this video so pick three of your most 
related keywords out of the most efficient list. Make sure you follow the steps. Check your uh, all your visits or your searches. I mean, and do your KEI, and make sure you run that suggest tool. Get a bunch of them, at least 50. Um, I usually run it up to 500, like I said. So let's carry on with our campaign here. Uh, for this, what you want to do is pick how many links that you want in each one of your sites, like the Web 2.0 sites, articles. If you're going to do, if you know that you're going to do a campaign that has a lot of article sites, later when you when you actually go into the modules and I'll show you that in a minute you want to make sure this is two but for the most part I usually put this way up because I've tested with two three four five six seven eight all the way up to ten and I've noticed a huge spike in traffic when I when I put lots and now I've seen a lot of people disagree with that on different videos but the results are all that matters right so I'm gonna leave that at 10 and I'll show you uh, I just want to find another tool here okay this tool here is on all the servers of course and all you do is just put your keywords in Press next, generate title, copy it, and then just paste it here. So it automatically spins your keywords into the title and then makes a bunch of different titles, which is really cool. It saves a lot of time and they make sense. So there's nothing wrong with using this tool. Internet oriented, um, we'll call it cheap VPS. Go up here to the Snook Bio About Spinner and just generate and paste. Now, I've made my own diagrams. You can use the ones that are in there. I've put 26 additional ones on all of the desktops that I've found on Fiverr or uh, people have made and left and allowed me to put it into the list to use. Uh, but the one I use the most is the pyramid. I just took one that someone made that, that was getting me some good results and just made sure that each one of them were being pinged. Uh, that's one thing that I noticed that aren't on a lot of the diagrams is the pinger, which I think is the most important one out of them all. Because these further down the pyramid here at like forum profiles for example they all point to the social network but I don't think that a lot of these get indexed and the indexer for snook in my opinion isn't very good uh, I even bought the very high one I can't remember how many they supposedly index every day but it just wasn't working out you can get third party applications that will that will index your site and it'll do better than that indexer so what I started doing was trying just pinging those ones that are at the bottom of your diagram and it was working so try that on your uh, diagrams and just start pinging all of them not all your URLs are going to get indexed but most of them will okay let's go to the next one now for emails now, I know I've said this in past videos, but all I do is I just I go to Fiverr and I buy them by the hundreds. It saves me a ton of time. So you just copy your email. Grab your password my list kinda got a little bit messed up because I, I re-imaged my home PC and when I reopened it they were all in 
a weird order so I just kinda gotta look at it and there are, all the emails are in alphabetical order so I can just look for the next L and I know the password ends just make sure you put pop3.live.com for your incoming server press test successfully logged in grab your next email and then password And where's the next? There it is. And another thing is just make sure that you delete the email you used on your list because you'll find that you'll start using it again later and you don't want to do that. So those three I just used, I'm just going to get rid of them. Okay, now, of course you can just press generate content, and if you're going to do that, make sure you do it this way. Just two articles, that's it. Don't spin it. And preview sample. A couple of great tips on cheap VPS you're able to use making the most uh, of cheap VPS hosting. Now this is as good as you're gonna get as far as scraping okay so don't mix more than two and don't spin it because it's gonna look like crap and it's not gonna make sense at least if you just mix two now the articles semi, semi genuine I've been getting good results with that but you'll get even better results if you take uh, get article pro which I also put I don't know if I made it work on this computer yet. But let's make it work. Now this is also on the servers. All right, so what we want to do is put our keywords in here. I can't remember which keywords we had. Do do do. Something like that. So all you got to do is just hit start. I don't know if I'll have to use proxies or not. On my, I haven't used it on this one yet, so probably not. And then it'll start grabbing the articles and putting them into separate folders for each keyword in your designated folder here. And the reason I do that is because on Sanook, think about how many people are just hitting generate content like hundreds thousands maybe now the amount of people that are actually going for your keyword there might not be as high as how as per how many people are actually using the scrape content but do you want to take that risk because who knows who knows how many people are using Sanook and, and taking those cheap VS articles that probably pop up the same every single time so just go and use get article pro because it's look how many different directories there are there's uh, there's a bunch of bunch of them the odds of anybody using those is the chance of it is done as high so you're gonna get better results 
I don't believe in the duplicate content theory. I do believe that if Google sees it too many times, that it rates it'll rate each time it's been seen. I've noticed that if an article's been used, let's say like two thousand times, and you can you can check that. Uh, what's the name of that site called? Copyscape, I think it's called. I I checked a bunch of them to see on different sites how many how many times that article was used and it seems the more that it's used the less value it's going to be I did all the math for it I checked it before but Google Google's algor algorithm changes all the time so you never really know but all you need to know is that they do not penalize you as much as you think you can still use scrape content you still get good results with Sanuk with scrape content, but we're just going to try and narrow narrow it down and try and get an article or two that isn't being used as much. So let's find out where we put it. Um, see. So it put it into two files so far that it's scraped articles for. So let's go into the cheap BPS one. And there's all a bunch of articles so far. We want to find one that's related to our site. And if you can keep the keyword in the title, it'll most likely be spread out through the article. Alright, so I'm just going to grab this one. Uh, you can put your links at the bottom, or you can manually go through and replace. If you go like this, then it will be replaced by how many that you say how many links you want there for example just from putting that there the links it put this many, all my keywords here so all I do is just put them at the bottom and it works fine and you're not you're not trying to actually get the traffic from the web 2.0 sites um, yeah I'm sure that there's gonna be some people that do come from them but generally we're just building our links on those sites to get our site higher in the search engines. They are, there are obviously people that browse the web 2.0 sites and we'll see it and click it but we're just trying to get our links and I'm sure that you've heard it before but each link is a vote and I know that with all the new changes uh, with Google um, they're trying to see like how people are using your site now and, and rate it that way uh, so there's there's different factors that are coming into play all the time but you still need to get people to your site you still need to get links and overall your Sanuk is gonna build your page rank because people will get to your site right you're not you're not you don't care about the web 2.0 site and what they're doing on there you just want to get your links to your site. Okay, so let's find another article.
And for the bookmark feature, oh, well, I pressed the wrong one. You want to go back to your Sanu thing, bio about spinner, press on the bookmark description, click generate description and copy. So this little tool here is pretty handy. It does all your titles and your bookmarks. Um, the about me in the bio. It's pretty handy. And for the article we're gonna put the number of links all the way down to two. Because they are not gonna approve your article if there's any more than two. And let's go find another for the for this one you want it to be a longer article or else it's not gonna it won't it's gotta be more than five hundred words or less than I think. I'm not sure. It's at least five hundred and fifty words. So it has to be longer. not long enough. Small articles do well for some things. I noticed when I was doing CPA marketing, if you had a nice short article, it would convert better for some reason. Okay, that one was higher than 550. I always put the threads as high as it can go, especially if you're on the servers. You can put the threads as high as you want for Snook. Make sure auto logins checked and enable automatic capture solving. Put your details here. And I know it said error. I'm not actually going to start this campaign. I just wanted to show you it. Now for the money of days or the amount of days um the longer the better. If you're going to do a whole bunch of campaigns, like for example, if you're setting up 10 or 20 of them a day like I am, you can put this all the way up to 20. Because I'm going for the long haul for most of my keywords. <clears throat> which means I'm going for really hard keywords that it's going to take a long time to rank for. So I find if you spread that over time, and now with the new feature of Sanook, that you can add your whole list here. You can actually spread this over a long period of time and then spread out since you're since you can put that big list there, you can just copy that same list over all 20 of those campaigns and set it for 20 days. I find it works better that way. But before in my earlier videos, you could only put 3 here. So I I had to group them into different uh, categories and do uh, I I was telling everybody to do five campaigns for each three keywords to get results and it did work really good but now that you can put this this whole list here you can sp make as many campaigns as you want but just set just make a uh, like kind of like a template for yourself to do that's what I'm trying to explain um, let's say you put 20 keywords here then you might want to make that more campaigns because 20 keywords isn't going to get spread out as much as if you did uh, like one keyword over over uh, 10 campaigns or whatever, right? So just make sure that you put your list there and spread it spread it over as many days as you can. It just it really does work better. I've tried it. Um, I've tried it with five days, ten days, fifteen days. But now that that list is there, and and you can put as many as you want there, spread it over more time. It just works better. Try it. And then you just press confirm, and that's it. You got your campaign. You'll start getting good at it, and uh, you'll be able to throw up a whole 
huge list of them every single day. And I think that's it for this video. I'm going to go into Scrapebox on the next video. And then I'll jump into X-Rummer. Thank you very much for watching.